So you just picked up your GoPro Hero 10 and you don't want to watch a 30 minute film to get it started. Box. Papers in here. First thing you're gonna notice, update your GoPro. Make sure you do that because if you don't update it, you're not gonna be able to use it. Stickers, don't stick them anywhere. You're gonna to have to take them off one day. You get your GoPro. If you do have the extended version, you're gonna get this funky clip. It's a magnet as well, that's fantastic. If you get the extended version, you're also gonna get this tiny little tripod. Don't think it is tiny because you can extend it. That's pretty cool too. If you got the extended version, you got another battery. If you got the extended version, you got a buckle, a second buckle, and a second thumb screw. That's fantastic. If you got the normal version, you got the GoPro, a cable, a battery, a thumb screw, a buckle, and a sticky, and this funky case which you can carry your GoPro in. However, it might get scratched, so you might want to get this little, little, little uh, case from Ulanzi which you can stick your GoPro in, and then you can stick it in there with all this crap and not worry about it getting scratched. It's got a nice little zip, which you can zip it up on. I'll leave a link to it below. If it's still available, I got it about a year ago. So, how do we get going with this GoPro? This is a buckle. It's got a little piece of rubber in it. You stick it in one of these, close down the rubber, ugh, and if it's in there correctly, it's gonna be nice and tight. The GoPro has two little feet on the bottom that you basically pull out, stick in there, get your thumb screw, screw it on, and it is now nice and tight. If you take this off and glue it to your helmet or whatever, getting this 3M sticker off is like just hell. So this sticks on very well. You don't have to worry about it coming off. It is fantastic. Right, now we've got that out of the way. Charging on GoPro, simplest thing in the world. We have USB-C to USB normal cable that comes in the package. We have a battery. I do label all of my batteries just in case I know what's going on. On the side right here, not where it says GoPro Hero 10, on the other side, you're gonna have the battery door. Pull it open, you basically have to just like pull it out. You can actually take these doors off if you want, as you can see. Really simple to get them back on, clip it back on. Inside, I have already pre-installed a tiny micro SD memory card right there. This is simple, you basically just slide it in, push it until you hear a nice click. Like that. The battery has a notch on it, and like it's, it's a notch, you can't go wrong, it will only go in one way. Slide it in, make sure it's in there, close this down so it's nice and tight, so everything is flush and you can see it is completely done. On the side where it says GoPro Hero 10, 10 black, press the button and it will turn on. You are ready. If you do want to charge it and there is no battery in it, because mine has 97%, open the door with the battery in, put in USB-C, put this into one of your, you know, sockets that has a USB. If not, get yourself a power bank. You can put it in a power bank and charge it. Really, really simple. Now that's out the way. What you're gonna have to do, which I've already done, is connect yourself with a GoPro Quick app. Now the GoPro, 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 the GoPro Quick app is really, really simple. And you open it, go into the camera at the top right of the screen, there we go, and it's gonna search for your camera. When it finds it, it's gonna say, update this mofo. And you're gonna have to update it for it to work, otherwise it's just a brick. You have to update this the first thing you do when you get it, update it. And then you can basically control everything and you have a preview screen. Whatever's happening here, you're gonna see here. So it is the simplest thing in the world. It works very quickly, very, very easily. There's nothing to it. It connects basically quite quickly. This sends out a Wi-Fi signal. So it's got like a, it's like a Wi-Fi hub kind of thing. And it connects via here. You get a nice little preview screen. It's taking a little bit longer than normal. Starting preview. There we go, look at that. This is me, right there, live, coming to you guys. <laughs> um, so that's what that looks like. It's really fast and simple. If we look at the GoPro, the front screen, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the front screen right there is exactly what you can see on the back screen. To get that kind of view, let's go through the menu quickly. Pull down on the screen. You're gonna get this menu, eight little icons. To get that screen, it's basically this little thing, the second one to the left at the bottom. 
and you're gonna have to do front screen options and it's gonna be the second one to the right. Actual screen, if you do full screen, it's gonna be a square and you're gonna see, you're not gonna see the whole image, really annoying. You can also turn it off so there's absolutely no front screen, so you are inconspicuous. Nobody knows you're filming. You can also turn on the LED in the menu of the preferences, but I have it always on actual screen so I can see what's going on. You can also turn on voice activation, so GoPro photo, GoPro video mode, boom, it's really quick. GoPro start recording, GoPro stop recording. To do that, top left, pull down on the screen once more, top left, you've got the voice activation. You can also turn beeps on. You can also turn on right here, quick capture on. So if it's off and you press the record button on top, it will start recording, which is just crazy. I don't like it, I'm scared it will start recording in my bag. You can lock the screen, you can lock the orientation. So if you turn it around, it's still gonna be upright. But if you turn this off, if you turn it this way, you're gonna see it's just gonna flip around every single way. Max lens mod, not available. GoPro apparently will drop a huge update in November. They did this with the Hero 9, pissed everybody off, but that'll come soon, so wait for that. If we slide to the right, we're gonna have connections, so you can connect to your quick app and all that crap, and preferences, which is the most important bit. If we go into general, you're gonna have beep volume low, quick capture off, default preset last use video, that's what I have it on. Auto power off five minutes, LEDs front off only. So if you have the front screen off and the front LED off, nobody will know you're filming, which is pretty cool. Anti-flicker 50 hertz, Europe 60 hertz, USA, remember that. Video compression, HEVC, time, date, all that gets set up from the app, so it's all looking good. And then voice control, you can turn it on or off, and actually the screen is a lot better than Hero 9 with the GP2 chip. Um, voice control, you can change it and you can do different commands and all that stuff, it's great. Displays, you can have orientation all. Screensaver rear, never, because I'm filming after five minutes, goes black, I have no idea what I'm filming, and it just kind of deconcentrates me, which is really annoying. Screensaver front, match rear screen, that's a good one to have. Regional GPS is on, mods, I can't turn anything on because I don't have the, the max thing, you know, it's, it's, it's not available yet. Reset, the most important bit. If you want to format your SD card, go to reset, press format SD card. Now your card is formatted and you are ready to go. It takes a second or two depending on the size of your SD card. The one that comes here is 32 gigabytes, so that's really cool. If we scroll back to the top, press back and slide up, we are out of it. Now, if you want to change without voice commands from video to photo, just slide on the screen to the right or slide to the left. From video, you can slide all the way to time lapse, but you can also press the little button, the on and off button under the hero black here, press it, and it's gonna change from video to photo to time lapse to video. Really simple. On the screen, top left, we have the memory card status. So 36 minutes, 38 seconds, I can film in 5.3K, 25 frames per second, linear with horizon, uh, horizon leveling. And in the middle, you're gonna have three little dots. One of them is time lapse, the other one in the middle right now is selected as video, then on the right you're going to have photo. So if you press it, you're going to see that the dots change. It's pretty cool, very simple. Top right battery and also give you a little icon showing you in green how much battery you have, just for visualization. Then on the right, the first icon is going to be your stabilization. If you press it, you can go from boost to high to off. Simple. If you have it off, it's basically going to be like that. If you have a boost, it's gonna be smooth as they come. The little thing underneath it is a magnifying glass, so you can actually zoom and zoom out. On the left-hand side, you have one times. If you press that, you can actually change from 25 frames per second all the way up and really slow motion stuff it. And right here on the bottom left, you have lenses. In 5K, 5.3K, you can go to wide, but in 4K, you can go to super wide. You can have really, really wide view. But I normally leave it always in linear and horizon leveling, which means that it looks natural and the horizon is always gonna be level no matter what you do with the camera. If we press this standard down here, the actual mode, you can go through the modes and change them. You can even add your own. I will be doing a video showing you what different modes are used for what. So mountain biking, vlogging, just normal day-to-day -day shit. It's gonna be simple. And if you press that and you actually press the little, I don't know what that is, a pencil, you can actually go through it and you can change them as much as you want. 
that's about it. Any questions, drop them in the comments below because I am getting a phone call. Give me a like if you did like this film. And if you want to pick this up, affiliate link below. Boom. Hello?